Train is an American rock band from San Francisco, formed in 1993. As of 2019, the band consists of Pat Monahan, Luis Maldonado, Hector Maldonado, Jerry Becker, Matt Musty, Sakai Smith, and Nikita Houston. With a lineup that included original members Monahan, Rob Hotchkiss, Jimmy Stafford, Scott Underwood, and Charlie Collin, the band achieved mainstream success with their debut album Train. The album was released in 1998 with the hit Meet Virginia. Train's 2001 album, Drops of Jupiter, contained the lead single Drops of Jupiter. The single won two Grammy Awards in 2002, and the album was certified double platinum. Train's third studio album, My Private Nation, released in 2003, was certified platinum in the United States with the hit Calling All Angels. Following the departures of Hotchkiss and Colin, the band released their fourth album, For Me, It's You in 2006, with Brandon Bush and Johnny Colt. Despite a generally positive reception from critics, the album was commercially unsuccessful. Because of this, Train went on a two-year hiatus from recording any new music. In late 2009, Train released the album Save Me, San Francisco, from which the album's three singles, the RIAA six times platinum certified international hit Hey, Soul Sister. If It's Love and Marry Me reached numbers 3, 34, and 34, respectively, on the Billboard Hot 100. The album was certified gold by both the RIA and ARIA. In April 2012, Train released California 37. The first single from the album, entitled Drive By, reached number 10 on the Billboard Hot 100 and was a top 10 hit in the UK. This album was followed by Bulletproof Picasso. Christmas in Tahoe, Train does Led Zeppelin 2, and A Girl, A Bottle, A Boat. Train has sold over 10 million albums and 30 million tracks worldwide. Following the dissolution of his Led Zeppelin cover band Rogues Gallery, singer Pat Monahan left his hometown of Erie, Pennsylvania in late 1993. He resettled in California and crossed paths with Berkeley College of Music alumnus Rob Hotchkiss, who performed in coffee houses and local clubs. The two shared lead vocals, with Hotchkiss on guitar and harmonica, and Monahan playing percussion, including a modified conga attached to a kick drum pedal. Hotchkiss had been the lead singer for LA-based Apostles. After deciding to form a full band, the duo recruited Jimmy Stafford on guitar, Charlie Collin on bass, and Scott Underwood on drums, thus solidifying Train's lineup in 1994. Train attempted to get signed under Columbia Records in 1996, but were rejected. Subsequently, the band decided to release their first self-titled CD independently. By 1997, they were touring nationally, opening concerts for bands such as Bare Naked Ladies, Hootie and the Blowfish, Cracker, and Counting Crows. Train is the band's eponymous debut album. Initially released on Aware Slash Red, a joint venture with Columbia, A and R executive Tim Devine picked up the record for release on Columbia. The album was released on February 24, 1998, with a different track listing from its independent counterpart. It was self-produced for $25,000, and three singles from the album were released. The first single released, Free, was a large hit on pop-slash-mainstream rock stations. The second single, Meet Virginia was a top 20 hit on the Billboard Hot 100, peaking at number 20, and the third single was I Am. The album brought the band national fame, and was certified platinum by the RIA. Following the success of the debut album, the band began working on their second album. Drops of Jupiter, the band's second album, was produced by Brendan O'Brien, who has also worked with artists such as Pearl Jam, King's X, Bob Dylan, Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band and Neil Young. Before the release of the second album, the band released the single Drops of Jupiter. The song was a massive hit, it entered the Hot 100 on March 10, 2001, and spent over a year on the chart before being relegated to the recurrence chart. The song won a Grammy Award for Best Rock Song, as well as a Grammy Award for Best Arrangement, which was written by Paul Buckmaster, known for his string arrangements for Elton John. The album Drops of Jupiter was released on March 27, 2001, and became Train's first multi-platinum album, with the success of the lead single. The album was Train's first top 10 album, peaking at number 6 on the Billboard 200. The album was also a top 10 hit in the United Kingdom, where it peaked at number 8. She's on Fire, the second single from Drops of Jupiter was a modest success and was featured in the 2001 comedy The Animal and the 2003 animated comedy Rugrats Go Wild. The album was eventually certified double platinum in the United States and in Canada. It was also certified gold in Australia. During the Drops of Jupiter tour, 
the band released a live DVD of a sold-out concert in the band's hometown of San Francisco at the Warfield. The DVD was titled Midnight Moon and featured Train's hits from the first two albums among others. The concert was recorded on May 26, 2001. In 2003, Rob Hotchkiss left the band citing creative differences. According to band interviews, Hotchkiss resented being pushed away as a songwriter and decided to leave. Hotchkiss started pursuing a solo career, after having contributed to six of the 11 songs on the upcoming album My Private Nation. His solo album, the critically acclaimed Midnight Ghost, was released in 2004. The band's third album, My Private Nation, was released in June 2003 with Calling All Angels as the lead single. Calling All Angels became Train's third top 20 hit, and was a major hit on the Billboard Hot Adult Contemporary Tracks chart. Calling All Angels has been certified RIA Gold. In October 2003, bassist Charlie Collin was forced to leave the band because of substance abuse. According to singer Pat Monahan, Collin was a mess. After a live presentation in Oregon, he called an emergency meeting and told the band that you can have your bass player, or you can have your singer. He was replaced by Johnny Colt, bass player for the Black Crows. In 2004, their non-album song Ordinary was featured in the movie Spider-Man 2. In 2007, it was featured again, this time in the NBC series Heroes. The music video for Ordinary was in rotation on MTV, but the song only charted on the adult top 40 tracks chart. In July 2005, after the song was featured in an advertising campaign for Singular, the band released Get To Me as the final single from My Private Nation. Get To Me reached number 9 on the Billboard Adult Top 40. Paul Buckmaster returned on My Private Nation with string arrangements for the tracks Lincoln Avenue and Your Every Color. The album was certified platinum by the RIA. The band released their first live album, Alive at Last, in 2004, later winning a Radio Music Award for Best Artist. Train began recording their fourth studio album, For Me, It's You, in Atlanta during the summer of 2005. They released the album's lead single, Cab, on November 14, 2005. The song peaked at number 9 on the Adult Top 40 Tracks chart. The album was released on January 31, 2006 and peaked at number 10 on the Billboard 200 chart. However, it failed commercially, becoming the first album of the band's career to fail to receive an RIA certification. The album was the band's only album to include members Johnny Colt on bass and Brandon Bush playing keyboard. Starting in November 2006, the band took a two-year hiatus from recording and touring to be with friends and family. The band's lead singer and songwriter Pat Monahan released a solo album, Last of Seven, on September 18, 2007. The album peaked at number 82 on the Billboard 200 chart. Two hit singles off of the album Her Eyes and Two Ways to Say Goodbye charted at number 9 and number 21 on the Adult Top 40 with Her Eyes charting at number 10 on the Bubbling Under Hot 100 singles as well. Pat Monahan also wrote The Truth for American Idol winner Chris Allen. The Truth charted at number 17 on the Adult Top 40. On August 11, 2009, Train released their first single in more than three years. Fallout Boy's co-manager Jonathan Daniel helped Train begin their comeback after a couple of off years. The song Hey, Soul Sister, from their fifth studio album, Save Me, San Francisco, was released on August 11, 2009, while the rest of the album was released about two and a half months later on October 27, 2009. The single was a major success, becoming their second career top 10 hit on the Billboard Hot 100 in its 16th week on the chart, after surging from number 23 to number 7 during the week of January 30. 2010, largely because of an 81% increase in digital sales from the previous week. Like their earlier hit Get To Me, this song gained further popularity when it was used as the commercial soundtrack to launch Samsung's 3D television during the Oscars. It is now their highest charting single. Hey! Soul Sister is also the most played song in Australian radio history, the most downloaded iTunes song of 2010, the best-selling single in Columbia Records history, and has been certified RIA 6X Platinum. The album itself peaked at number 17 on the Billboard 200 chart. Train's second single from the album, If It's Love, peaked at number 34, making it their most successful secondary single from any record. If It's Love has been RIA certified gold. Train released the third single from the record, Marry Me, on October 25, 2010. It debuted on the Billboard Hot 100 at number 95, the first time Train have had three consecutive singles on this chart. The song peaked at number 34 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Marry Me was featured on One Tree Hill on February 1, 2011. 
Marry Me has been certified RIAA Gold. Train released a Christmas single called Shake Up Christmas, which was featured in commercials internationally as part of Coca-Cola's Christmas commercial series in 2010. The single charted at number 12 on the Billboard Hot Adult Contemporary Tracks. The single also charted at number 99 on Billboard's Hot 100. Train single Save Me, San Francisco peaked at number 75 on the Billboard Hot 100, at 22 on the Adult Contemporary Chart, and 7 on the Adult Pop Songs Chart. Drive By, the lead single off of Train's sixth studio album, was released worldwide on January 10, 2012. It peaked at number 10 on the Billboard Hot 100, as well as reaching platinum certifications in Australia, New Zealand, and the United States. On April 13, 2012, Train released their sixth studio album, California 37. According to Monaghan, much of it was written while the group was touring Save Me, San Francisco. I didn't spend three months or five months writing, I just wrote throughout the course of the last three years, said Monaghan. We have 13 songs that we've recorded and I want to hear every single one of them over and over again. The album release was preceded by a promotional single of Feels Good at First on March 21, for iTunes store customers who pre-ordered the album. The album debuted at number 10 on the UK Albums Chart, and became their highest charting album since Drops of Jupiter which peaked at number 6 in 2001. In the United States, California 37 debuted at number 4 on the Billboard 200 with first week sales of 76,000 copies. It is their fourth top 10 album and their highest charting album in the US. Train's next single, 50 Ways to Say Goodbye, was released on June 11. With its self-deprecating lyrics about the failure and gracefully ending a relationship, coupled with slightly tacky mariachi horns. It peaked at number 20 on the Billboard Hot 100, and charted for 12 weeks. And was certified gold by the RIA on September 20th. For the summer of 2012, Train toured mostly on the east coast of the United States. In late July, Train demanded that the Family First New Zealand, an organization that opposes same-sex marriage in New Zealand, refrain from the unauthorized use of Marry Me from its Protect Marriage website. In November, Train released Bruises, a country-oriented duet with Ashley Monroe. The song has also been recorded with different female singers, for Canada, the song was recorded in both English and French with Mary Lou, and for Australia with Delta Goodrum. In December, Train released the single, Mermaid? The group would later film the song's video at the 2013 Pro Bowl in Honolulu. Train was scheduled to perform at the Boy Scouts of America's 2013 National Scout Jamboree, along with singer Carly Rae Jepsen. In March 2013, both backed out of performing for the event and cited the controversy over the BSA policy on gays as the reason. Train released a statement saying the band strongly opposes any kind of policy that questions the equality of any American citizen. We look forward to participating in the Jamboree this summer, as long as they make the right decision before then. The Boy Scout Jamboree subsequently brought in Three Doors Down as the headlining band. Train toured the United States and Canada from July 11 to August 14, 2013 in 25 headlining shows titled Mermaids of Alcatraz Tour. The tour included singer Gavin DeGraw, The Script, Michael Frondi and Spearhead. Country music singer Ashley Monroe joined part of the tour, singing bruises in one or two of her songs from her album during Train set. In November 2013, Train announced plans for a new album to be released in the summer of 2014. On May 5, 2014, guitarist Jimmy Stafford tweeted, An anagram of the first single from the new It Train album is now available. Skijanil A Battle. Yep. Which fans quickly deciphered and replied Angel in Blue Jeans. On June 5, 2014, Scott Underwood posted a message thanking fans for their support as he leaves to pursue writing, producing, and other music-related ventures. He had been in the band for 20 years, and has been replaced by Drew Scholes. At the time of release, the only original members left were Pat Monahan and guitarist Jimmy Stafford. On June 9, 2014, it was announced that the album would be titled Bulletproof Picasso. The album is led by the single Angel in Blue Jeans written by the Norwegian duo Espionage. It was released the same day as the album's announcement. The single peaked at number 79 on the US Billboard Hot 100 and at number 8 on the US Adult Top 40. The rest of the album was released on September 12, 2014 in Germany and Australia, September 15, 2014 in France, and September 16, 2014 in the United States. The album peaked at number 5 on the Billboard 200. On September 29, 2014, Train released the second single from the album, Cadillac, Cadillac. It peaked at number 21 on the U.S. Adult Top 40. On January 26, 2015, 
Train released the third single from the album, Bulletproof Picasso. It peaked at number 22 on the US Adult Top 40. On May 19, 2015, Train released their fourth and final single from the album, Give It All. It peaked at number 35 on the US Adult Top 40. On May 21, 2015, Train began their tour for the album, referred to as the Picasso at the Will Tour. Joining them on the tour were the Frey and Matt Nathanson. They played at over 40 venues across the United States until the tour concluded on July 25, 2015. Although the album peaked high on the Billboard 200 and all four of its singles made a spot on the US Adult Top 40, none of the singles were subsequent hits, thus making it fail commercially. It also failed to receive an RIA certification, the band's first album since For Me, It's You To Do So. On May 14, 2015, it was announced the band was recording a Christmas album. The album, titled Christmas in Tahoe, was released on November 13, 2015, exclusively on Amazon, and is their eighth overall studio album. The album features 15 songs, 12 of which are covers of other holiday songs, and three of them being original songs. It peaked at number 151 on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 and number 10 on the U.S. Top Holiday Albums. On December 5, 2016, just over a year after the album was released, Train's cover of This Christmas charted at number 1 on Billboard's Adult Contemporary Chart. In June 2016, Train released their first cover album, and ninth overall studio album, titled Train Does Led Zeppelin 2. The album was a song-by-song replication of the classic 1969 Led Zeppelin album. The band's website announcement stated, We're paying homage to one of our biggest musical inspirations with the release of Train Does Led Zeppelin 2. All of the band's proceeds from this release will support Family House. The band also launched a brief club tour that same month to support the album. Gigs included New York, Los Angeles, Seattle and the final date in San Francisco. The sets consisted entirely of Led Zeppelin covers, and featured no regular band material. They also appeared on Jimmy Kimmel Live on June 10th and played Heartbreaker and Living Loving Maid. The album peaked at number 71 on the US Billboard 200. Beginning with live performances on tour in August 2016, Train performed a new song, titled Play That Song. It was officially released on September 29, 2016, as the lead single to their 10th studio album, A Girl A Bottle A Boat, which was released four months later on January 27, 2017. Play That Song uses the melody from the 1938 song Heart and Soul. On October 8, 2016, lead guitarist Jimmy Stafford posted on Twitter that he had left the band. Although he performed Play That Song and other new songs from the album prior to its release, he did not play on the new album. Stafford quoted on Twitter that we're both in a great space. Pat is making the records he wants to make and I'm still around. He attended the annual train cruise sail across the sun in February 2017. On December 1, 2016, the album was made available for pre-order and the track listing was revealed. On the same day, the song Working Girl was released as the first promotional single from the album. The second promotional single, titled Lottery, was released on December 16, 2016. Just under a month later, the third promotional single from the album, titled The News, was released on January 13, 2017. On January 19, 2017, along with releasing the fourth promotional single from the album titled Drink Up, Train announced the official tour for the album titled The Play That Song Tour. The tour occurred from May 12, 2017 to July 15, 2017 in the United States, and featured two opening acts, OAR and Natasha Bedingfield. The tour briefly continued overseas from October 12, 2017 to October 25, 2017. Jimmy Stafford posted on Twitter that he would not rejoin the band for the Play That Song tour. He posted that his absence wasn't his call and that he would have loved to have been part of the tour. On January 22, 2018, Train announced a summer 2018 tour with Daryl Hall and John Oates. It ran from May 1, 2018 through August 11, 2018. To celebrate the tour, the artists collaborated on a new single titled Philly Forget Me Not, which was released on March 29, 2018. A couple months later, on May 24, 2018, Train released another new single with artist Cam and Travi McCoy titled Call Me Sir. On October 12, 2018, Train announced a Greatest Hits album simply titled Greatest Hits. The album was released on November 9, 2018 and featured 16 of the band's songs. The album also featured a bonus song, a cover of the hit George Michael song Careless Whisper. At the end of 2018, drummer Drew Scholes left to the band to resume his law career. In June 2019, Matt Musty joined Train for their spring and summer appearances. 
On November 15, 2019, the band released a new single titled My Ties, featuring artist Skylar Gray. On May 22, 2020, the band released a new single titled Rescue Dog. A portion of the proceeds will go to North Shore Animal League America. This is a list of major performances by train at various events and television shows. It does not include concerts from their regular tours. Train founded the Save Me, San Francisco Wine Company in 2011. With a partnership with Acme Wine Movers, the business sells wine that is named after the group's various hits, which include Vops of Jupiter California Red. Calling All Angels Chardonnay, Soul Sister Pinot Noir, California 37 Cabernet Sauvignon, and Hellafine Merlot. The wine is made in the Livermore Valley. The company partnered with Ghirardelli Chocolate Company to sell chocolates and confections to pair with the wine. A portion of the proceeds go to the Family House of San Francisco, which supports families of children with cancer and other life-threatening illnesses. Train supported Little Kids Rock along with Country Financial through the Road Trips and Guitar Picks campaign. In addition to raising money and autographing a guitar for auction, Train met with and sang Hey, Soul Sister with some Little Kids Rock students in Atlanta. Calling All Angels became an unofficial anthem of the Los Angeles Angels baseball team, it was played at Angel Stadium before every game during the 2010 season, while the video screen showed a montage of the team's history. Calling All Angels was featured at the ending montage of the One Tree Hill episode Life in a Glass House. Marry Me was featured on the episode The Other Half of Me the album's second single, When I Look to the Sky, was used for the trailer of the 2004 film Jersey Girl. The band was parodied in the band face-off sketch on the January 26, 2013 airing of Saturday Night Live, where they invade a bar and get in a conflict with Adam Levine, and are later joined by Jason Mraz and John Mayer. Train made a statement afterwards that they approved of the parody. Three of their songs have been featured in two of Seth MacFarlane's animated TV shows on Fox. Drops of Jupiter was featured in the American Dad. Episode Bully for Steve, which premiered on April 25, 2010. Meet Virginia was featured in the Family Guy episode Turkey Guys, which premiered on November 16, 2014. The melody for Play That Song was featured in the Family Guy episode V is for Mystery, which premiered on March 25, 2018. Hector Maldonado, performing in 2018. Thanks for watching.